So in this video, we're going to have a look at finding the critical region for a binomial hypothesis test. So a critical region is the set of possible observations that would lead to the null hypothesis being rejected. So the set of observations that would lead to a rejection of the null hypothesis. So I'm going to look at the question here. It says a random variable has a distribution binomial 20p. A single observation is used to test the null hypothesis that p is 0.15. And the alternate hypothesis is P is less than 0.15. Using a 5% level of significance, find the critical region for this test. So as we did before, let's draw the sliding scale of probabilities. And we can see here that we're testing a less than. You can see there's a less than there. So the bottom 5% of probabilities is going to be rejected. Now the calculator has quite a useful function to allow us to do this. So we're going to distribution mode and binomial cumulative. But this time rather than use variable, which we've used up until now, we're going to use the list function. And if we're testing to the left, let's start with the lowest observations we can get first. We can have x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and keep going until you get bored. Okay, I've went from 0 to 9. So the number of trials is 20, and the probability we're testing is 0 0.15. Now this is going to give us the probability that x is less than or equal to all of the observations that we put in before there, all the numbers that we put in. So it's just calculate them now, and we're looking for it to go below 0 0.05. So having a look here, we can see the probability that x is less than or equal to 0 is 0 0.0387. So let's write that down. The probability that x is less than or equal to 0 equals 0.0387. The probability that x is less than or equal to 1 is 0 0.1755. Actually, what I should do, just to be sure, I should hover over the number to make sure that I'm rounding correctly. So 0.0387, it's truncated rather than rounded that number. So the actual number behind that is 0.03875. So actually, my number there that I've written down, 0.0387, is wrong. It's actually 0.0388. So that's a lesson to learn. Always hover over the number on the calculator to actually see what number lies behind that. Because it's truncated, not rounded. And 0.0387. 1755 actually round to 0 0.1756 because there's a 5 after that's been truncated off. So 0 0.1756. And what we've shown there, that the region x less than or equal to 0 would lead to rejection. Then as soon as we get up to 1, less than or equal to 1, we move into acceptance. So we observed 1, we'd accept. If we observe 0, we'd reject. So 3%, 3 3.88% of the probability lies to the left of 0. That's what that's shown. So 0 lies roughly there. And then 17.56% of the probability lies to the left of 1. So 1 is there. So we'll, in going from 0 to 1, we've crossed from reject to accept. Therefore, and this is the way you should write it, critical region is x less than or equal to 0. However, in binomial, we can't get any numbers less than 0. So another acceptable way of writing it is x equals 0. So if we now take another example, where we're testing the right-hand tail of a binomial distribution, the method's a bit different and a bit more difficult. So it says a test statistic has distribution binomial 10p, so the number of trials is 10, and the probability is unknown. We're proposing that the probability is 0 0.2, that's our null hypothesis, and an alternate hypothesis has been made where the probability is greater than 0 0.2, find the critical region at the 5% significance level. So again, let's draw the probability scale, except this time we're testing the right hand tail, we're testing a greater than, so... Again, we've got a 5% rejection region. 
and we're going to look at how the calculator features can help us solve this a little bit more easily. So going back to the calculator, this time we're testing a right hand tail. So there's 10 possible values you can take, sorry, 11 possible values from 10 down to zero. So but because we're testing the right hand tail, let's put the highest in first. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. For much bigger values of n, you could only put a small subset of those in. Okay, so the number of trials 10, and the probability that we're testing is 0.2. That's our null hypothesis. So it's calculating them all. So actually, this time we're looking at probability to the right, but the calculator only gives us less than or equal to probability to the left. So if the probability to the right that we want is 5%, then the probability to the left must be 95%. So let's look for a crossing over the 95% boundary on the calculator. We can see it does there, between 4 and 3. So we've got the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 is 0. Point, let's hover over the number to make sure that we're rounded correctly. 0.9672, yeah? And the probability x is less than or equal to 3 is 0.8791. Yeah. 0.8791. But that doesn't really help us answer the question. But what will help us answer the question... If I move these across a bit, if I do 1 minus each of those, what that actually tells me, 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 4, is the probability x is greater than or equal to 5. Likewise, 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 3 tells me the probability x is greater than or equal to 4. And we've shown it crossing over the 95% boundary. So actually, we've got all the information we need to answer the question now. 1 minus 0 0.9672 equals 0.0328. Do the other sum. 1 minus 0 0.8791 equals 0 0.1209. And what we've shown is a crossing over the 5% boundary to the right. So this one here is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, it's a reject. This one is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, it's an accept. And we must do this in order to get the marks. We must show it crossing over the boundary. So you might need to have another look over this particular section for the right hand for the right hand critical regions because it is a little bit more complicated but what I've shown you is a shortcut to get the marks more quickly so you've got that therefore critical region is and we've shown that it's the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5 did that so the critical region is x greater than or equal to 5 must write it like that and that's that for more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.